Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls. I am here with Ryan today, and before we get started on our sales update, we are going to be talking about Photopea, which is the Photoshop alternative. So we will go ahead and get started with our sales update. This last seven days, we had four sales, and then this month, as... Last month. November. Yes. Last month we had how many? 25 sales, mostly being Karen and the Karen Halloween costume and the official boner donor one. Um, we tried to do a couple of political shirts, but none of those really took. And then we recently moved into a realm that was about marijuana legalization, as that's been in the mainstream media a lot. So we're crossing our fingers that that works out well for us. Yeah, just don't don't sell any youth uh, shirts in yeah. those sort of subjects. Yes, probably not the best idea. Yeah. So we will go ahead and get started on Photopea. Yeah, so it was interesting. Like, I, we listed some political shirts and that I was selling on my account, and, like, they would not sell on hers. So it's just weird how that happens sometimes. Yeah. Because I've done that before where I was selling, like, Halloween costumes on my account or Halloween costume shirts on my account and then selling the same thing on my mom's account, but hers caught traction. Yeah. So it's, it's just I'm sure it's sometimes. a lock. Yeah. yeah, too. Okay, so we All go right, to file. So what's the website? Photop photo p e a photo not p e e some people when i say photo p they say it's photo p but notice that the p in p is lowercase so i'm gonna go ahead and say photo p because also i can't bring myself to call it photo p even if it is a, that's what it's supposed to be called i don't know okay well we go to file new and then we are going to change the width to 4500 to 4500 and then height to 5400 yep. Notice they have templates there too, which are pretty cool. I don't know that any of these really translate into t-shirt designs, but just worth pointing out that they've got that built in, kind of like Canva does, but this is kind of like a free version of Canva that if you're comfortable in Photoshop, I mean, it's built right into your web browser and it's completely free. You don't need to have an account, nothing. But I think you can pay them for one to remove the ads. Okay, so as you guys can see, it kind of already looks like Photoshop. So down here, we'll just go ahead and pop a couple layers in there. We're going to go ahead and change the background color to black, um, which Ryan and I typically do on our merch template. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the paint bucket, which is by the gradient tool. And then... I'm going to click. There's a little bit of a delay on some of the actions just because it is built in a web browser. And so use a lot of your computer resources. I guess Photoshop uses resources too, but I don't know that web browsers are like natively as strong as like a Photoshop application is, you know, this is kind of like stretching what web browsers were intended to do. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So we can just make a basic like text design. Okay. For instance, mm -hmm. you know, because I always say uh, I just did a Redbubble shop review video. And anytime I see a Redbubble shop with less than like 500 designs, which by the way, you can do in 10 days, just hitting the upload limit every day. I say like, hey, just make text designs and get to 500 and then start worrying about, you know, whatever else. <laughs> but until then, like make a, a shirt that says anything. Just think of a word and put it on a shirt. And there's enough people in this world, you know, Redbubble is pretty global in their uh, outreach that you can make a sale with just random stuff. So we want, why don't we make a text-based okay. design? Um, what's a, what's like a word that, I don't know. Mm. We could, I mean, you could do like one word or we could do, uh, a phrase. I mean, one thing, you know, you can do is go to like the search merch tool and just look at what's on page one and do like a text only version of that. You know, you probably won't get to the top of page one with yeah. just text, but sometimes you can, you can click new tab and you want to just write, let it go, let it go. Sure. All right, then this is weird about Photopea, but when you click the text tool, you see at the top there, there's a color, and it's black. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta change that to white now. Okay. And then do your text tool like you would in Photoshop. So you can, like, left-click and drag the box, yeah. And I typically like to match it to the end point so that it'll be cent centered automatically. Yeah. Oops. Control-Z. Control Z does not work on photo P. All right. Well, it's got its limitations. All right. And then um, click in. And the thing is, it's 24 pixel size, so it's not easy to see. But you can just type something. All right. It is working. And then just Control A to select it. And then change your font size up top where it says 24. You can make it like uh, I wouldn't. Would you? I wouldn't use that. It's not going to be big enough. Just key in like 900. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. And now center it, maybe. Cool. 
So yeah. All right, you're gonna do a vertical. If you do that, you have to expand the box. And then well, here's something cool that you can do if you select it all again. And then click character. Where's character? Uh, uh, CHA. Oh, yeah. And then you see where it says PP in all caps? You mm -hmm. can click that. This one? Yep. And then it automatically capitalizes it. Oh. So that's a nice little nifty thing when, that uh, is when nice. you use like, the Chrome extension that I built with a friend called Automate POD. You can like auto capitalize everything. So it doesn't matter if your spreadsheet's not capitalized. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So then also now you can pick a font from the uh, font selection. By the way, what's cool is you can load fonts in and it remembers what fonts you have loaded from previous. So like I like the Edmund texture font, but mm -hmm. I don't think that's loaded by default. Um, that one's a little weird. Yeah, that one is kind of weird. It's called Destroy. Destroy. Um, no. See, the nice thing about Photoshop is you can just hover over the font and it uh, previews it for you in real time. Whereas here, why don't you use Edo? See if that looks good. <laughs> it looks okay. Okay. Maybe make it bigger, right? I mean, bigger is better. Oops. Oops. No, Control uh, T does not work in Photopea. You have to Control Alt T if you wanted to do a uh, resize. But see, you don't have to do this now. This is one benefit of Photopea. Why? We can actually just key in the size you want. It works. Unlike unlike your Photoshop. But one thing you have to make the uh, maybe like 1400. And then make the text box mm -hmm. bigger. <sighs> and just click in. Inside. Ah, it keeps... Just left click inside. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I like to align it at the top too. Um, and then I think you can, you see where it says leading there? You can like change the vertical space to be less. So I would select all. I don't know if, if it'll work if you don't have it selected. I'm not really sure. I always select all. And then key in like 1300 maybe. There you go. You can even make it, I mean, honestly, like if I'm selling stuff, no, no I'd leave that. Maybe it's up to you. I'm saying that personally, like I would make it bigger. You the know? text. Yeah, because again, like it's to get clicked in. Well, here's I, here's the thing. Since you just manipulated the leading, it's now like hard coded at 13. So if you make that bigger, you didn't have to hard code that. But this might be a case to like do the Control Alt T and just drag it. How do I? Yeah. Control Alt T. I don't think the layer was. There you go. All right. Yeah. It's slow, guys. I do have to it's, say. Yeah. It's, it uses a lot of resources. But there you go. I see. I think this looks good. Like, for a text-based design, it may seem over the top. And in reality, in real life, when it's printed, it may be. But at that point, you already got the sale. And that's the whole point. Yeah. So I personally am, like, a strong believer in this approach. Unless you're, like, a serious graphic designer. And you, like, have an eye for how to really lay out t-shirts that typically will involve text plus graphics. So like, this is enough. And this is something that I swear people don't get. Like, I say people don't get. I'm sorry. But, like, I do all these shop reviews. I do weekly shop reviews on Etsy and on Redbubble. And then I'm also, you know, looking around all the time and stuff. And it's, like, more often than not, the people that have shops that have, like, 200 designs, 300 designs, and they've been selling for 10 months. Yeah. That's an indicator of, to me, that they quit most likely or that they're not really trying that hard because, I mean, like I said, 50 designs a day is doable. And then you see the designs and it's like, it's like you can't even read the text. Yeah. And it's like, so you're probably demoralized because you're not getting sales, but you're not getting sales because you're not playing the game. You know, to me, it's just a game. You got to figure out, like, again, just understand the customer experience, um, what it's like to be a customer and cater to that. So I think this is doing just that. Like, I like this design. Okay, what do you perfect. Think? Yeah, I think it looks good should upload it tomorrow and see what happens <laughs> i've got a couple other designs that i'm waiting to upload um but this one i will we'll go ahead and save it yeah and by the way you have to like turn off the background too. how do you oh yeah i forgot about that yeah. that was stupid guys um file no i do that all the time like i'll run my extension and create a thousand designs you how do you export as and then png but you don't have to do that you don't have to click now 
it'll pop up on the Okay, page. well, guys, I hope you found this as informative. Um, check out Photo P or Photo Pia. Link in the description. Comment below on what you think the name actually is. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. Thank you guys so much again for watching Mary J's Hauls and our Amazon Merch Q4 Challenge. I hope you have a good one.